Nemesis. Log number one, dash 66. The night of the tournament, everything goes to plan. Even feels too easy, smooth sailing. The moment Calypso walks into the place and I lay my eyes on her, I can't seem to be able to take them off. I'm smitten. She's wearing a long classy black gown with a deep V cut that exposes a lot of her chest. A pendant with a large stone to match her red eyes is sparkling on top. Elegant is a word not good enough to describe her. Enchanting sounds better fitting. It's like we're role playing. Lovers that act like they don't know each other in public, but cannot wait to go somewhere private and tear each other's clothes off. The secret we carry. She goes ruthlessly through her every opponent, sitting at the table with a perfect posture, laying down all the cards with grace, enough to win the set, calculated to a T. They are surprised at a sight of a female devouring the room, envious of her gambling success, possibly writing it off as a beginner's luck when she couldn't be further away from that. She arrived there with a specific plan, professional to the core. I must say, I am very impressed, trying my best not to get carried away while admiring her beauty. I still need to keep my eyes on the prize. Remember, the grand finale is coming, so I do everything the way we discussed. It works, for the most part, while everyone's out and other guards are on the prowl to restore the lighting and find the perpetrator, the droid in charge of the final game that was about to start is still at the table. These droids are armed. If I were to attack one, I would have to fully terminate it because it won't stop otherwise until the attacker was neutralized. And I cannot let that happen. That wasn't part of the plan. Using night vision and a room void of light, the droids are well adapted to. I need to find a way to trick it before everyone's back in the main hall. I grab a couple of random decks and rain the cards all over the table. By accident, of course. The croupier droid is startled and starts collecting them with one hand trying to clean it up while still holding the deck for the main game with the death grip in the other hand. The head of this droid model can turn 360. A snap on its right and a snap on its left, continually doing so. The droid's head starts spinning, reaching to the source of the noise, trying to follow and identify it. Meanwhile, I quickly put a piece of fabric over its head which makes it stop dealing with scattered cards due to the loss of vision and causes it to let go of everything in its hands and reach to remove the obstruction of vision from its head. I swipe all the dropped cards of the table and place the deck that I was meant to exchange for all along on the table in front of the droid. As it removes the blindfold and grabs it quickly, securing the position. The deck is swapped. The other guards turn the power back on and before they can make it back, I gather all the other cards off the floor to make it seem as if nothing has ever happened. They are suspicious, but hey, their feelings on the matter are none of my concern. I could care less. I tell them that it was an electrical malfunction of sorts in the bathroom and I didn't find anything to be worried about. Before the last game is about to begin, for the first time I noticed the champion of the previous tournament, the unbeatable Vulcan. He didn't have to compete in the qualifiers. The old champion is to play the winner of the night to take home the prize. It's hard to see much of him, as he's wearing a hood that casts a shadow which makes his face barely visible. From what I can gather, he looks young. His skin looks ashen, pale grayness like in a lively color. It seems as if he likes to keep his appearance discreet by the way he is dressed, keeping his looks a secret. They start the final game. And this Vulcan guy looks more and more surprised with every round he loses. Surprise turns into frustration when the third light turns on by Calypso side of the table. Frustration turns to anger, you can see it in his eyes. He lost. She wins big, claiming it all, taking the tournament's prize, all according to her grand plan. My vicious beauty. The ship got hit up a bit from the last encounter with the bounty hunters. We'll need to make a pit stop on some random planet to do a few repairs before I can continue running. Hope you're used to all these random noises in the background by now. All of the clanging and crashing from time to time. And you can just tune out and focus on the story of mine. Don't worry, it'll be well worth your time. I promise. Nemesis.